Okay, I promised Mike at Taylor RC, RC Max, that I would uh, go through this, do a little bit of a tutorial to help guys who are either rebuilding their engines or just doing up, up, you know, just doing some general maintenance. What I wanted to go through today was just basically the gasket layout, how everything fits together, and how you should assemble it. So basically you have your block, your case, there's gonna be a gasket that goes on there. That's this small thin gasket. This is called your reed gasket. After you put the reed gasket on, you're gonna put your reed on. Now pay attention to these openings and make sure that you line them up correctly with your, your reed gasket, okay? And then that will slide into the engine there. Now, the next gasket is your manifold gasket. Let's see if I can get this thing to sit up. This is your manifold. Pay attention to how you put the gasket on. Obviously there's four bolts, lines right up. But if you look at the bottom here, this is for the pulse port for the carb to work properly. If you don't have that lined up with that hole, you won't get uh, fuel drawing correctly. You won't be able to tune your motor. You'll have all kinds of issues. So you put your uh, assembly on like that. Then the next gas that goes on is carb gasket. And then this is settle spacer. Don't make the mistake, this is not a Teflon spacer. Some of the old Teflon spacers, you didn't need gaskets. These uh, settle spacers, you should sandwich gaskets between them. So you should have the gasket, the spacer, the gasket, then your carb. And then after the carb, you're gonna want another gasket under your intake. So that's how the assembly goes together. Okay, so the main reason I went through this process of this tutorial, I, I know guys know what a gasket is. I don't mean to insult anybody, but I did want to show one thing that we do see that's real common. It's a mistake that happens even with the best of us. Um, this is your manifold. This, you'll notice, is an angled manifold. If you can see that on camera. Um, the Vecta, some Bajas, there's some thicker mangled manifolds and some thinner angled manifolds. Uh, there's flat manifolds, so there's a difference between these, and, there, and I'll show you why that's important in a second. But basically what I do is I put my assembly together off of the engine so I know where these carb bolts, where they end up. I, what I wanna make sure is that I'm not gonna push through the back of this manifold, damaging my gasket and my reed. So uh, what I do is I put the assembly together So you got your intake. This is a Vecta one. That's all right. Carb gas get over there. Okay. Then you got your carb. This is a WT carb, 990. You got your gasket. Your subtle spacer. Your gasket. So we got a nice little sandwich there. And then I'm gonna install it on the manifold. Okay. Now I'm gonna tighten these down just like it was on the engine. So I'm nice and snug. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna look and see what I got. Okay, now you can see there that bolt my right bolt is protruding a little bit. That protrusion in this particular case will, is enough to push through the gasket, but not enough to damage the reed. Personally, I like to make sure that these are flush. A little bit of protrusion is okay. Uh, you don't want to punch all the way through the gasket and break the reed. You can see where this one just started to touch the reed. So this bolt was a little bit long, a little deeper and that would have damaged your reed. So what I'll do is I'll mark that, like that, I'll back the bolt out, I'll put that on my bench grinder and I'll take that little bit of metal off. So then I go to reinstall it I know that it's gonna be flush. It's not gonna hit my gasket. Remember, 
and line your gasket up correctly. I'm gonna install my manifold on, and then I'll put this assembly back together on the motor. But I know for sure, after I do these measurements and do that fitment check, that I've got the proper size bolts.